Guess what? It's Clifford's birthday today. Want to help with the party? Type in your name and we can put on a party that's just the right size for Clifford. Big. <laughs> Do you want the game to be easy, medium, or hard? Pick one and then click OK. Hard. <laughs> Now pick four jewels for Clifford's collar. Click on a jewel, then click on one of the empty spaces in the box. A heart. There's one. Now a bone-shaped jewel. That's two. Two more to go. A bow. You've got three. Pick one more jewel. An emerald. Oh, Clifford will like that. Oh, hi. I'm Emily Elizabeth. I'm glad you're here. This is for my dog, Clifford. Today is his birthday, and I want him to have the best party ever. There's a lot to do to get ready, and boy, do I need your help. We need to take Clifford to the dog groomer for a haircut and a bath, clean up the backyard for the party, get Clifford a birthday cake, and stop by the post office to pick up a super special birthday package that Grandma sent. Oh, and we can't forget about this. This is a kit to make a birthday collar for Clifford. Huh, I wonder where Clifford is anyway. Clifford won't fit in there. Clifford? Oh, Clifford! Where are you? He's got to be around here somewhere. Here, boy! Here, Clifford! Boy, Clifford's good at playing hide-and-seek, but he's usually not that hard to find. Clifford? Oh, Clifford, where are you? He's... That's the kit to make a birthday collar for Clifford. Oh, Clifford, where are you? How about a nice little doggy treat? <laughs> this is a Clifford-sized treat. But we can't give it to him till we find him. There you are! <laughs> Happy birthday, Clifford! Now we can make your first birthday present of the day. <laughs> Let's take it outside where we'll have more room to work on it. Come on! Jewels for your new collar, Clifford. Fit for a king. Woof. 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 <laughs> Some people make such a fuss over a little sneeze. We'll just need to find the four missing jewels for Clifford's new collar. Let's add it to the list. Well, we better get going. Can you carry these? My backpack will be perfect for carrying stuff. And we can use the map to get around town. So, where do you want to go first? Look, they're giving balloon rides today. Clifford loves balloons. Woof. Go get it, Clifford! Clifford loves to play fetch. Whoa! <laughs> oh no, Clifford picked up the wrong stick. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. It was kind of fun. Clifford! 
card. It's one of the missing jewels from your birthday collar. Here, little froggy. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> wow, he's good. Good job. Woof. Clifford really likes the park. I try to walk him here every day. Woof. Go get it, Clifford. Clifford loves to play fetch. It says, don't go in the pond. Woof. There'll be lots of balloons at your party, Clifford. Woof! I think Clifford is too big to fit in that balloon Ooh. basket. It's fun coming here. Clifford has a lot of friends at the beach. Woof! Clifford built a huge sand castle. It was big enough to play inside of. Ooh. I know you want to go swimming, Clifford. Maybe later, okay? Woof. Rocky belongs to Loretta, who runs the fish stick shack. She says he's lived this long because of her ultra yummy fish sticks. They're the best. Clifford likes to swim in the ocean. And I like more than a pile of tasty fish sticks. Hi, Loretta. Hey, Emily Elizabeth. And that sweet Clifford. Well, it looks like you could use some of Loretta's special homemade deep fried fish sticks to plump you up. Mmm, Loretta, those look great. Well, help yourself. Did I mention how much Clifford likes fish sticks? Clifford! This could be a problem. Oh no! Rocky, my baby, is not a good swimmer. What'll we do? We need to get Rocky back. He's one of Clifford's best friends. <laughs> Great idea! Clifford can swim all the way out to rescue Rocky. Clifford is a really good swimmer, but getting hit by waves makes him tired. Swimming into seaweed makes him really tired. When Clifford is really tired, he loses all his energy, and he needs to stop and rest. Luckily, fish sticks give him energy. Help Clifford eat fish sticks and stay away from the waves and seaweed. Help him reach Rocky.
lucky baby. Come to mama. Oh, boy. Clifford. Oh, Clifford, thank you so much. You have earned free mm. fish sticks for life, my dear. <sighs> That's my dog. Great job, Clifford. Mm. Clifford, it's one of the missing jewels from your birthday collar. Good job. <gasps> I think Rocky's swimming in his sleep. Once, Clifford built a huge sandcastle. It was big enough to play inside of. Woof, woof, woof! Whale! I can't think of a better birthday present than getting to swim with a whale. Have fun, Clifford! <laughs> Help Clifford swim out to play with the whale. Remember, help him eat fish sticks for energy and stay away from waves and seaweed. Now that's what I call a whale of a friendship. Woof! Woof! Clifford and I love that smell. Loretta is Woof. true to her promise. Free fish sticks for life. Open wide, birthday dog. We found two of the jewels for Clifford's collar. We need to find two more. Oh, my favorite star! Thanks, Cliffy. You're a dream. Sometimes Clifford forgets to look both ways before crossing the street. Hey, let's go! We need to do something about this traffic jam. We need to do something about this traffic jam. Hey, it's Godzilla! He must be from out of town. Hey, isn't there a... Great idea! Clifford can take the cars where they need to go. Okay, so which car should Clifford help first? <laughs> Clifford may need your help finding the way. Make sure you know where the driver needs to go. This is a map of part of our town. The person will tell you where they need to go. Then click on Clifford and drive him to the right place. 
thanks for the lift. I live in the house with the blue roof that's around the corner from the purple house. Click on Clifford and move him along the street to where you Gee, thanks. Now which car should Clifford help? I hope you can help me. I'm on my way to visit my friend Bob. He lives in the house with two tall trees that's opposite a yellow house. Thank you. Who should we... I'm bringing flowers to a sick friend. She just had an operation. Thanks. Great. Now pick another car. Am I glad you're helping me. I'm headed to visit my brother. His house is in the middle of a field of flowers. Thanks. Now which car should Clifford help? I'm going to see my aunt. She lives in a house with a diamond window and a red door. There are two tall trees on her block. This is the place. Who should we help? I'm headed home. I live in a house right next to the pond. The flower bush outside my house is not pink. I'm headed home. I live in a house right next to the pond. The flower bush outside my house is not pink. This is the place. Great. Now pick another car. I'm going home to water the garden. I live in the blue house next to the pink flower bush. Thanks a bunch! You cleared up the traffic jam. Now the rest of the cars can get going. Woof. Good job! Woof. Clifford feels much better now that you helped him fix his mistake. Woof. Hey, if you want to help another car, just click on it. Whoa! Look what you found! One of the missing jewels from Clifford's oh, birthday no. collar! Go get it, Clifford! Woo -woo. Got it! Good job! Woo. Clifford loves this street. It's because of the market. With all that food, it's his favorite place to visit. I think we're really going to have fun at Clifford's party. And we couldn't do it without you, could we, Clifford? We have to give Clifford a haircut and a birthday bath. Here's the dog grooming place. Maybe Mr. Kibble, the groomer, can give Clifford a haircut and a bath so he'll look his birthday best. Hi, Peaches. Hi, Mr. Kibble. It's Clifford's birthday and we oh, were oh. wondering... Uh, you weren't wondering if I could groom Clifford, were you? You, you see, the thing is, uh, Clifford is so... Uh, so... Big. He's huge. Giant, gargantuan, humongous. He's rather large. I'm taking the rest of the day off. 
I guess Clifford's size makes Mr. Kibble a little nervous. That's okay, Clifford. I'm sure we can convince Mr. Kibble to help you get your birthday haircut and bath. We just have to find him. Hello? <coughs> hey, my name's Molly, not Polly. <coughs> Hi, Emily. Clifford, how about 125 ice cream cones? Just kidding. So, what'll it be for the lucky owner of the birthday dog? What do you have, Sandy? Ooh, they all look so good. Go ahead and pick one. Hmm, which one should we get? Mmm, yummy! A scoop of mint ice cream in a cone with a cherry on top. Here you go. Thanks. What do I owe you? Not a penny. Since Clifford's the birthday dog, I'll give it to you for free. It's on the house. All day long. Wow. Thanks, Sandy. Sure. And I have a special doggy ice cream treat for the birthday dog. Catch, Clifford. Excellent. The market's just the place to get Clifford's birthday cake. Hello, Mr. Hamburger. Hello, Emily Elizabeth. Happy birthday, Clifford! Woof. Clifford loves Mr. Hamburger. I wonder if it has anything to do with his name. Here's a treat for you! Oh no, my beautiful breakfast display. I'm sorry, Mr. Hamburger. Sometimes Clifford gets a little too excited. <laughs> but I'm sure we can do something to fix this. Now, we just need to clean up the rest of this mess. And later, we'll see about Clifford's birthday cake. picture that goes on top of the display has broken into pieces. Okay, let's see if we can glue these pieces together. Oh boy, you did it! Mr. Hamburger will be happy about this. Come on. Good job. Woof. Good as new. Now we need to do something about all that food. Great, let's put all the stuff back on the shelves. Okay, let's see if we can put these things back on the shelves in just the right way. Mr. Hamburger likes to have all the same kind of food together on the same shelf. Blueberries. Blueberry. 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 
strawberry, strawberries, cherries, maple syrup, cereal, cereal, pancake, pancake, cereal, cereal, pan. Some things are not on the right shelves. To put the stuff back just right, you might have to move some things around. We need cereal. There's no room for that. Pancake mix. Cereal. All right. You put everything in its place. Good job. Woof. That looks great. Oh, that's perfect. I couldn't have done it any better myself. Now we can see about getting Clifford's birthday cake for the party. I'm gonna bake one especially just for Clifford. <laughs> All you have to do is pick the icing and the decorations. Woof! Oh boy, this is gonna be great. You can pick from lots and lots of decorations to make Clifford's birthday cake extra super special. Shh. G G O O O D D B B O O why? Why? You just took a picture of your cake. Do you want to print it now? <laughs> Clifford's gonna love this cake. Cake is one of his favorite food groups. Good job! <laughs> Now I can bake a Clifford-sized cake that looks just like the one you decorated. Oh boy, that's great. I'll bake it a little later, just before the party. And we can even decorate another cake later. We just have to let Mr. Hamburger know. Clifford and I like walking downtown. Believe it or not, everyone seems to know him. Maybe it's because he's such a great dog. to pick up the special package that Grandma sent for Clifford's birthday. Whoa. It's Ramona Diamond and her dog, Ruby. Hello, Ramona. Hey, that looks like Clifford's birthday package. Well, Ooh. we were expecting a package today for Ruby, all the way from Groomingdale's in the big city. And it does say to the best dog in the world. But that package also says from Grandma. Ooh. Oh, that part. Well, if this isn't our package, I don't know what I'll do. 
We need all that fun stuff from Grooming Dales for Ruby to wear to Clifford's party. Ramona, we'll Ooh. find your package for Ruby. Oh, okay, thanks. And I'll take good care of yours until you find mine. We'll wait right here. Good, great, <laughs> thanks. Well, Clifford, mm. looks like we need to find Ruby's package. Woof! Maybe Maud has Ruby's package. Maud works at the post office. Mm. Hi, Maud. We're looking for a package. Sorry, Emily Elizabeth. All of the packages have already been delivered or picked up today. But we're missing one. Mm. For Ramona Diamond and Ruby. Well, as I always say, the mail always gets delivered, but it doesn't always get delivered to the right place. I know we can find Ramona's package. We just have to keep our eyes open. Are you sure you don't have another package in there, Maud? Oh dear, let me search for it. Nope, not there. Guess we're going to have to go find Ruby's package somewhere else. Those are our neighbors, Horace and Violet Bleakman. Sometimes they're very grouchy, but they can be nice too. Ooh. Whoa, do you see what I see? The last missing jewel. Woof! Woof! Hey! That was the last jewel we needed to find. <laughs> we can make Clifford's collar now! Woof! Each of these jewels has a place on the collar. See if you can put them in the right places. An emerald. A bow. A bone-shaped jewel. That's a heart-shaped jewel. Clifford's new birthday collar is perfect. Thanks. Good job. Woof. Hey, look what this is. A package for Ramona Diamond and her dog Ruby from Groomingdale's. The postal carrier delivered it today. It's not ours. That's okay. We'll make sure she gets it. That's an ice chest. Wow, that sure is a big pool. I'm hungry. I'm starving. But I don't know what I want to eat. Me neither. Should we have something little to eat? Or something big? Oh, no. something, something little. This is our backyard. And this is where we're going to have Clifford's party. But first, we have to do something about this mess. Clifford likes to collect stuff and bury it here in the backyard. But since this is where we're having the party, we need to clean up. Woof! Woof! Which gives me an idea. Maybe we can make it easier for Clifford to put his stuff away. We could dig up his things and find the stuff that goes together. You know, like a ball and a bat, a girl and her dog. Okay, dig up one mound at a time and find the things that go together. Needle. Knife. Gosh, I don't think so. Drumstick. Fork. Picture. Tennis ball. Nope. Pepper. Nail. <laughs> Comb. Hammer. Mm. Racket. Drum. Thread. Picture frame. Comb. Needle. 
Thread. Needle. That's it. Picture frame. Hairbrush. Uh -uh. Salt. Tennis ball. Pepper. Salt. Woof. You got it. Fork. Drumstick. Knife. Fork. Yep, they go together. Picture. Picture frame. Woof. Yes. Tennis ball. Nail. Comb. Drum. No. Drumstick. Drum. Yes. Hammer. Tennis ball. Hairbrush. Comb. Woof. That's it. Racket. Tennis ball. You got it. Nail. Hammer. Woof. Yep, they go together. Wow, you did it! Woof! Wow, you are a cleaning whiz. Good job! Woof! If you want to dig up more of Clifford's things, just click on the shovel. We'll leave it here on the fence. And now, da 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 da! It's time to decorate Clifford's doghouse. This says, Happy Birthday, Clifford, from us. It's looking like a party doghouse now. Ramona, I have something for you. It's the package from Groomingdale's. Oh, thank goodness. Now Ruby will look spectacular for Clifford's party. Thanks for finding it. You're welcome. See you at the party. This is it, Clifford. Your super special birthday surprise from Grandma. Woof! Clifford wants to open it, but we'll just have to wait until the party. Good job! Woof! Hey! Up there. Waving my arms and yelling for help. Help, help. I think he's stuck up there. Bingo. Woof. Maybe we should help him. Woof, woof. Good idea. Maybe Clifford can reach Mr. Kibble. <laughs> I guess that's too far for even Clifford to reach. Now what? We need something we can use to get you down. I hate to bother you while you're enjoying the park, but did you notice I'm still stuck up here? We sure did, Mr. Kibble. We just have to find something we can use to reach you. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope? I gave up hope when a woodpecker mistook my head for a tree trunk. We have to find something we can use to reach Mr. Kibble. We have to find something we can use. We have to figure out how to get Mr. Kibble down from that hot air balloon. I hate to... We sure did, Mr. Kibble. Don't give up! Those are our neighbors, Horace and Violet Bleakman. Sometimes they're very grouchy, but they can be nice, too. Ooh. 
That that and I, that. Hey, look what this is. A rope ladder. You can borrow it if you want. We have plenty of others for emergencies. Thanks, Loretta. You never know when you might need one. I bet this will work. Whoop. Okay, Mr. Kibble, we're ready. Oh, happy day. Here I come. Are you okay, Mr. Kibble? I'm more than okay. I'm just swell. You know, you're the doggone best. Gee, now that you're out of the tree, do you think you could give Clifford his birthday haircut and bath? I'd love to, but he is big, huge, gargantuan. Gatchuanica! There is no way he could fit in my tub. But I'll be happy to lend you my grooming kit. Uh, I'm sure you can find some place big enough to wash Clifford. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. <Whoop>. Kibble. <laughs> That's the grooming kit Mr. Kibble loaned us to give Clifford a bath and haircut. That's the grooming kit Mr. Kibble. This pool would be the perfect place to give Clifford a birthday bath. I wonder if Mr. and Mrs. Bleakman will let us use it. We should ask them. Mr. and Mrs. Bleakman! Your pool is pretty big. Could we use it to give Clifford his birthday bath? Hmm, maybe. But we can't possibly think about that now. We are way too hungry. What do you want? I don't know exactly. I want something cold. Cold and pink. Cold and pink on a stick. I guess we need to keep on the lookout for something cold and pink on a stick. Hello again, Emily Elizabeth. Hi, Clifford. Could you use another ice cream? I sure could, Sandy. Go ahead and pick one. That looks good. A pink ice cream bar. Sandy, can you put it in a freezer bag to keep it cold? Sure. Thanks. Let's put this in the backpack. Here you go, Mr. and Mrs. Bleakman. It's perfect. Just what we asked for. And you didn't even step on the flowers. Oh, and about the pool. Use it. We never use it. Oh, boy. We can use the pool. I can't believe my ears. Are you Clifford? <laughs> Okay, Clifford, bath time. Hey! We said you could get in the pool, not get the pool on us. Some people make such a fuss over a little water. Look at all this stuff we can use to groom Clifford. Wow, Clifford, you're going to look your birthday best. Blue hair color. 
colored polka dot hair color. Yellow hair color. Green hair color. Green hair color. Purple hair color. Brush. Scissors. 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 Rinse water. Wow, Clifford. Look at you. You are a handsome dog. Good job. Wait a minute, Clifford. Do you know what that means? We've done everything we need to do. So, do you know what time it is? It's time for Clifford's birthday party! Wow, so I wonder where everybody is. <laughs> Happy birthday, Clifford! For you, Clifford. <laughs> Cause you're the best dog ever. Mm -hmm. It's from me and our new friend. Ooh. Ooh. I think Clifford likes it. And he really likes you. Clifford. It's time to open your super special birthday package from Grandma. Oh boy! It's a super special soccer ball. Clifford loves soccer. Come on, let's play. This is going to be fun. First, pick four of Clifford's pals to be on the other team. If you pick one and change your mind, just click on the dog again. Fang. Peaches. Raffles. Rocky. We're ready to play Clifford's birthday soccer game. Okay, what level do you want to play? Beginner? Beginner. Here's how it works. Move Clifford right and left to block the ball. Then click and Clifford will kick the ball. Try to keep the ball out of our goal and see if you can get it into the other goal. Ready, set, let's play. Great soccer game. Here you go. A birthday bow for Clifford. Happy birthday, Clifford. Here's a song I wrote just for Clifford. Who's the biggest dog around? <laughs> The reddest dog in town. <laughs> it's Clifford, it's Clifford. Rocking and romping, it's Clifford. It's Clifford, it's Clifford. Good old Clifford, yeah! Sweet. 
Special delivery for my favorite big red dog! Oh, boy. Now that's what I call a good-looking cake. Woof! Woof! Ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. Are you having fun at Clifford's birthday party, Rubikins? Are you having fun at Clifford's... Happy birthday, Clifford. I've been thinking you might be hungry, so open wide, birthday dog. Do you want to keep playing the game? Okay, see ya. Come back real soon. Oh, <laughs> shit.